Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today is kind of a funny yet interesting video on why it's actually hell to date a borderline woman. Um, I made seven, seven key reasons in today's video. I'm going to go ahead and just read them and then we can just talk, briefly talk about each one. Uh, the first one I wrote down, it, I said, they don't actually love you back. It's called unrequited love. Um, I was actually told this by a borderline woman, quote, you don't get to love me. She actually said that to me, quote, unquote. Uh, it was by a former girlfriend. Um, so no matter how much you love them, they won't actually ever love you back. Or um, even if they say they love you, it's completely um, a lie. They don't actually have the ability to actually, in my personal belief, love their partner back. Um, just for the fact with the love with the uh, value devalue cycles, like once they reach that devalue cycle, you mean nothing to them, and I mean nothing. They will block you. They will not text you back. They will treat you like you don't even exist. So if you ever hear the words "I love you" from a borderline woman, you should actually just laugh at it. Um, number two, um, the value and devalue stages are almost unbearable. And lead to tremendous pain. Um, borderline women go through love and hate cycles with a rom romantic partner. Um, it's actually in as one of the symptoms of borderline is the love hate cycles. So they can like for one, it could be like it really depends on the person. I think how long the love and hate cycles um, last. From in my case, it was like you know maybe it could be like a week if I was dating one borderline. It could be like a week. And then not because I've dated like two or three borderline women, so I have a lot of experience on this subject. Um, it could be like things go great for a couple of weeks and then out of the blue, they're going to devalue you. Or it could be like a month where everything's going great and then they'll devalue you. So the, the actual timing of it, I think, is person specific on the triggers. Um, oftentimes it can be like the smallest trigger that get them into the devalue cycle. Um, so... Number three, I wrote, uh, these women don't actually like to have just one sexual partner. Even if they say they do, they're lying. They use multiple sexual partners as a buffer zone to intimacy, and they never have to feel rejection if they have multiple partners. So, like, if they say that you're the only one they're sleeping with, they're probably most likely lying. Um, borderline women like to have multiple sexual partners because... It will eliminate the romance between a single person or the possibility of rejection. So, for example, if they're having sex with Jimmy, Bobby, and Scott, if one of them ends the friendship, it's no sweat off their sack, right? Because they still have two other guys that are, you know, acting like boyfriends, having sex with them. So they use multiple par partners, in my opinion, to as a buffer against intimacy. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Number four, they will outright ignore you in the devalue stage. Uh, they'll block you, ignore you, and make you feel worthless. Uh, it can be extremely, extremely hard, guys, on your mental health to actually date one of these individuals. Um, they're going to dip in and out of your life, which means everything might be going great for a couple weeks, and then they'll literally just stop seeing you, block you. Uh, not answer your text messages. They're going to get their family to start hating you so that they don't answer text messages back. So they really start like a war against you, like with their family and friends, you know, in the devalue stage, they really turn everybody that is around them against you. So let's see here. Number five, uh, they can actually drive you to suicide or suicidal thoughts. Um, speaking from my own personal experience, um, I was super and super in love with this borderline woman and uh, she would go through the classic love hate cycles with me constantly where she'd be dipping in and out of my life, in and out of my life, in and out of my life. And the devalue stages were just very, very devastating to me. So much to the point where at the end of it, I was literally ready to end things. And I'm not joking. I was really, I was about ready to jump off a bridge. That's how upset I was about everything so if you're feeling like that please call like a suicide hotline or reach out to someone because it is a real real thing that you guys are probably going through if you've just started dating somebody like this i'm just more or less trying to warn you um to the actual risks associated with dating a borderline woman 
Um, number six is I would like to recommend that you gentlemen uh, or females, whatever, use protection during sex because they tend to be so promiscuous. Um, they want to have, like I said, they want to have multiple sexual partners. So there's no actual intimacy. I mean, literally what borderline women want is animalistic sex. That means nothing. They don't want romance. They don't want, um, they don't want, you know, any intimacy in the sex at all. They, they literally just want it to be a robotic thing where they're, they're getting off from it and they don't want love to have anything to do with it. They actually are repulsed by the idea of love. Um, number seven, uh, they have absolutely no regard for your feelings or emotions. They could give a shit less if you're upset. They wouldn't care. If you were to go right now and blow your head off, they wouldn't, they would not even give a fuck. And I'm being serious. They would not care one bit. They, uh, the problem with borderline personality is it's, uh, also associated with antisocial personality disorder. So they can have antisocial personality disorder and borderline at the same time which basically makes them sociopathic. So if you were to literally jump off a bridge right now, they would not care at all. They, they have no regard for you in the devalue stage. They have no regard for you as a human being. Um, in the devalue stage, you literally have no worth. Um, but in, in summing up this video, I want you guys to know that it's all mental illness driving her behavior. Mental illness is, is driving these behaviors. So in fact, yes, you do have value. You are a worth a worthwhile person. And, you know, if you're feeling suicidal thoughts, I really need you to reach out to, you know, either call a suicidal hotline or call, you know, a family member. You have to realize that suicide is is a uh, is a solution to a sh to a problem that is not going to last forever. And what I'm saying is it's a permanent solution to temporary problems. So just because you're really feeling upset right now doesn't mean that a couple months down the road you may meet a new person that really makes you happy. So I actually saw this. Um, my uncle, uh, he was dating a borderline woman or whatever, and she ended up leaving him um, for good. And he was really he was ready to blow his head off. I'm not going to lie to you guys. He was ready to end it. Um, but then like several, it might have been like several months to even a couple years down the road, he met a really, really wonderful woman. So this is an example of how somebody didn't kill themselves and it really worked out for them because several months later, even a year later, they're able to meet the person of their dreams. So that could be you. So, you know, just hang on to hope guys, because I'm actually a living case of someone that actually almost took their life from my borderline girlfriend, just driving me literally fucking crazy. You guys drove me almost off a bridge. Um, literally um, broke up with me on Christmas Eve. Who does that? Someone that's evil. That's who does that. Someone that has no heart. Um, but like I said, guys, I don't really know if all her behaviors are personal towards me because it's mental illness driving the behavior. And that's what you have to realize is that you haven't necessarily done anything wrong as the boyfriend or girlfriend of this woman. Um, most likely it is just the mental illness fueling these behaviors. So to, to step back and stop taking things personally is what you want to do. Um, realizing that you're dealing with someone that's mentally ill, um, you almost have to love them from a distance uh, because your love actually means nothing to them um, because of the love-hate cycles. Once they reach the hate cycle, you might as well be a piece of dirt on the sidewalk to them. I mean, they will literally break up with you for no reason. You could literally be Jesus Christ and be like the most wonderful person in the world. And they will still break up with you in the devalue cycle. So go to, go to Google right now. Type in borderline personality disorder. Check out the actual DSM criteria for it. And then you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to check off. Is my girlfriend like this? Yes, 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 yes. And at the end, if you realize that the person you're dealing with actually has borderline personality, then you really need to just take a step back and just consider them a friend. That's really how you need to approach this person. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even uh, try to love them. It's really wasting your time. Um, just, be, just be her friend because that's actually all she actually wants is a friend. Uh, the sex to her is just animalistic. It means nothing to her. 
It's just a way for her to get off. Uh, sociopathically, like I said, it's uh, borderline is often linked with antisocial personality disorder. So they literally are just using you to get off. So that's what you need to realize. So yes, you can be this person's friend, but don't try to love them because they don't want to be loved. Uh, women that have borderline, they hate the idea of love. They hate romance. And in fact, if you try to love them too much, it will just lead to the devalue cycle. So this is all coming from personal experience in myself, guys. I mean, I've I've literally dated borderline women who have just literally dipped out of my life for seemingly no reason. They and and then and then also when it comes to reasons why they devalue, they won't tell you. Like they will literally just leave and they won't even talk about what happened. They won't talk about why they're angry with you. They won't talk about what the issues were. They will just fucking ghost you. I'm being serious. I'm, I'm just telling you what my own personal experiences have been because I've been ghosted by a few borderline women. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions about uh, borderline personality, please leave them in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, you can do that. Anyway, guys, hope you have a great day and subscribe, like this video, and I hope you have a good one.